Hi everybody, it's Crystal from Magra de Crochet. Thank you for joining me. So today I come to you from my other house and I have some yarn. I'm super excited to show you. I wanted, it came in the mail here. Um, generally I would have my yarn shipped to my other house, but it came here and I don't, it's really cold outside. <laughs> I don't want to drive back over there, but I want to open it and I want to show you guys. So if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and uh, where it says notifications, make sure you have it set to receive all notifications because if you just have it set to receive um, personalized, YouTube's just gonna pick and choose what it wants to send you and it won't send you all my notifications, all right? Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, also, I appreciate a like in this video and leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about all the yarn and stuff, okay? So I got an email from one of my um, YouTube friends here and they had told me that Knit Crate had mystery boxes. And as of today, which is December 30th, uh, 2021, I just looked and they still do. I have never ever in my life purchased from Knit Crate. Not one time. I, I don't have never done their subscription box or anything. So um, I was kind of excited to be able to purchase from them um, one for the first time. And also I, I am super stoked that it's mystery bags because I love mystery bags. Now Knit Crate I do believe is a lot of it's hand dyed yarns and hanks of yarn and stuff like that. So I'll tell you a little bit about it. I did get two of them. So it said in the description that they, um, each mystery bag will have a six hanks of yarn in it. Um, some will be unlabeled. Um, and which doesn't bother me because I'm pretty good judge of telling the fiber, uh, pretty much what the fiber is. Um, and you could get multiple uh, skeins of the same color, but it does say that uh, it is over a hundred dollar value. Each skein or each hank um, retails in between twenty and like thirty six dollars a piece. And the bat in the mystery bag itself for six balls of unlabeled. Well, it says that they could come unlabeled. Um, was thirty nine ninety nine, and I bought two of them. So. Let's go ahead and look it out. Now, if you do don't go to Knit Crate, remember, I'm not affiliate, affiliated with them. This is the first time I ever bought from them. Um, make sure you read the description of their mystery box first, so in case I'm missing out anything. But I'm pretty sure that's what all they said, that it was um, unlabeled. You could get doubles. You don't know what fiber it is. Unless it has a label, you won't know what fiber it is. Or you don't know what weight it's going to be. You don't know what colors. You could get doubles. You get it. And six hanks per bag. Okay, let's do it. With a, each hank could be twenty to thirty-six dollars um, originally priced. All right. Okay, so I got two, and they did not separate them. So they put twelve hanks. I guess it's twelve. I don't know. They put them all in one bag. So let's see what we got here. <laughs> I'm so excited. I love mystery bags. Okay. Oh, and these are labeled. Some of mine are labeled. Okay, this is um, Audine Wool's Mellow by Knit Crate. Ah, it says it is 80% alpaca. Oh, I can tell too because it's really soft. 20% tinsel, and it is a bulky weight number five. <laughs> Oh, I like it already. Hand wash on gentle, lay flat to dry 125 yards. And that is quite a bit. It's so soft. And it smells so clean. It's a very pretty, like, blue jean color blue. I love that. That is gorgeous. And I love that it's a bulky five because it's my favorite. It being alpaca makes it super soft, plus it's hyperallergenic. I love that it came... In a, with a label, even though it said in the description box that they may not come with labels, you know. Um, and it says it's custom made in Peru exclusively for Knit Crate. <laughs> How exciting. So, let's see we got. Um, oh, it's so nice. It's so nice. I love it. I wanted to get more mystery boxes already. And I just got one hank out. Um, so, I paid $39.99, $40 for six hanks that they said retail between $20 and $36 a hank. So I'm super excited. So um, what I say, 
bulky weight, 125 yards, definitely enough to make a hat, but I got two of them in my bag here. I don't know if it's like each bag, like they, the, each, they didn't, like I said, they didn't separate the bags. There's just 12 hanks in here. I don't know if each bag was the same or they just threw some yarn, 12 hanks of yarn in here. But anyways, I got two of them. Oh, they're so pretty. Super excited. So soft. So beautiful. I love them. I'm very happy with that. Um, at $39.99 per bag, these two hanks is worth $39.99, in my opinion, at an original price. Probably near $20 a hank, I would say. Uh, at least $15 a hank. That's just my guess. They said that they averaged between $20 and $36. So I'm sure this definitely was worth my mystery bag price of $40. Just these two hanks. Let's move on. <laughs> okay. Ew, this is this is pretty. This is pretty. <laughs> it's so soft. It has to have alpaca in it. It has to. It has to. I'm not gonna, it's got labels too. This is Aud Audine, I hope I'm saying that, Wools by Knit Crate. And this one is called Chill. So the other one was Mellow. And this one is called Chill. This is, oh, it is 90% Surrey Alpaca and 10% cashmere. Oh my gosh, it's a number four weight, which is, and it has 150 yards, hand wash, lay flat, made in Peru, uh, exclusively for knit crate. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. Look at that. It is a very, very, like, beautiful grape, heathered grape, almost. That is some pretty, pretty yarn. And it's so soft. It's a four weight. So here's their four weight. Nice four weight. And I got two of those as well. Oh my gosh, this is so worth the money. 40 bucks for six balls of luxury yarn. But, but remember, I did get two bags here. So I paid 80 um, and I got um, 12 balls. But as it stands, I've already got my, I think I already got my money worth off the first two. But now we're adding alpaca and cashmere again in the bunch. Two more inks of those. <laughs> those are so pretty. And they smell so clean. I want to get more bags like you. I don't know. Those are beautiful. Okay. Let's see. Oh, it's another soft one. And it's got labels. These all have labels. They said that they wouldn't have labels. These all have labels. So <laughs> I'm super excited. Okay. This is called... Uh, Vidalia Vidalina Dusk. I can't pronounce anything. You know that if you watch me. It's got to have alpaca. It's got to have alpaca. It's so soft. It's pretty. It is 60% alpaca. 60% who who Kanya alpaca, 40% Surrey alpaca. So it's a 100% alpaca, just two different varieties of alpaca. It is a DK weight, which is a lightweight number three. And it is made in Peru, hand wash, 231 yards of a DK. It is absolutely so soft, so beautiful. Alpaca is hypoallergenic for those who do not know. Now the color of this one is a little bit, it's blue but not as blue as this one see the difference there it's a uh, kind of a it's a heathery blue i would say a heathery bluish gray it's really hard to define but it's very beautiful and i'm not a huge fan of dk weight yarns but if they're gorgeous i'll use them and it's definitely very pretty and it's alpaca there's their dk weight that's not a super bad dk that's about spot on that's beautiful this these are so totally worth it oh my gosh Let's see what we got here i got some more of that the I, I got some more of the same thing as this one that i just showed you the this one the blue one i just showed you that's but i got it in this beautiful green and this one is oh they have names this, the name on this one is called Midnight. 
and the name on this one is called Brains. Must have been part of their uh, uh, Halloween edition or something. So this is the 60 Huacanya Alpaca. Sorry if I'm not saying that right. 40% Surrey Alpaca. DK weight 231 yards. Made in Peru. So it's the exact same thing I just showed you. In this very, very beautiful, beautiful green. That's a pretty green. Um, I do like green. I prefer the more greens that are like avocado looking. Or like, uh, I say pea green or something like that. But this one is a very, very beautiful green. And it's, it's heathery looking. Um, if you look at it up close. Those hairs on it are the alpaca. Oh, it's so soft. It's so soft. I just got a bag of alpaca with a touch of cashmere. I'm not done. I got more. Okay, this is the same brand, but this one is called Oasis. See that? So this one is 50% alpaca, 25% merino. Okay, let's redo that again. It says 50% alpaca wool, 25% Peruvian Highland Merino wool, and 25% Surrey alpaca. DK weight, 250 yards, hand wash, made in Peru. Wow, that is some nice yarn. It is roving style DK weight, 252 yards, and it is very gorgeous green. You can see that it's not the same variety because this one is a roving. See the roving style effect on that one? As opposed to this one is plied. The greens are different. This is more of a, I don't know what you call it, a beautiful green. That is pretty. It still looks to be like, has a, has a little bit of a heathered look to it. Very soft. Very beautiful. I love that it's robing. Not a fan of the DK weight, but it's a beautiful yarn. It's a lot of alpaca up in there. It's very soft. Wow. Smells so clean. So fresh and so clean. So fresh and so clean. Okay, I got two more here to show you real quick. And this will be my two mystery bags. This is uh, ooh, URU Yarn Electric. This one is called Wired. It's 40% Shua Kenya alpaca, 30% wool, 30% Surrey alpaca. It is a worse of weight, which is a number four, 150 yards, hand wash, made in Peru. Ooh, that's pretty. Look at that. They say it's a worsted. That's a nice worsted. It's a nice four weight. That is pretty. I got two of those too. Those are so pretty. Everything I got is so soft. So this is what came. So remember, I said I got two mystery bags. Uh, both of them were the exact same because I got two of everything that I got. So I got this one. All of them are almost all alpaca. I mean, alpaca, it's so soft. This one, this is so nice. What they sent is so beautiful. This is the unbelievably priced i would recommend these mystery bags all day long because these are luxury yarns and like i said the first two that i pulled out those two alpacas just paid for the mystery bag itself if you were going to play pay full-blown retail um this would have paid for it but itself and then and then you had so much you know you had more to uh choose from Wow. 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 I don't know what to say. I think those are some, some of the best mystery, bo mystery bags I've ever come across. Uh, especially luxury mystery bags. You definitely don't usually get so many hanks for so little of a price. Um, and especially not ones that are almost all alpaca. If I had to choose a fave, it would be a very, very hard. I like them all, but... I don't know. I do like this one that is uh, 90 alpaca, 10% cashmere. The color on it is gorgeous. That grapey heathered look. It's beautiful. But I also love the bulky weight alpaca in the blue jean. <laughs> and this one. Oh, I love them all. I love the roving. Oh, I like the pink too. Ellen really going to like that one. I like them all. Oh my gosh, you guys got to hit up Knit Crate. 
and I hope that yours is as good as, as mine. Mine is exceptional. I would have bought them all day long, every day. It's worth every single penny of the $40 they ask. I know it's only six Hanks, but those are some. The Hanks that I got are very, very well worth. Those are some expensive hanks of yarn. The fiber content is not cheap on those. So it's very well worth it. I do not know if you will get the same thing that I got. I can't tell you for certain. You might get better stuff. You might get stuff that don't have labels. I have no idea. You know, it's the first time I've ever bought from them. I'll buy from them again. I'll do it. I'll buy another mystery bag and see what it comes with. It's fun. I love mystery bags. Now, always remember, though, when you buy a mystery bag or a mystery box, you're not buying it with the expectation of getting your money back. You're buying it with uh, the expectation of just having fun, the not knowing. But you definitely, I definitely, with this bag, got my money's worth. Uh, probably three times my money's worth. Yes. Maybe even four times my money's worth yes yes it's definitely my bags were awesome so let me know in the comments what you think let me know if you hit up nick crate and like i said they had them i looked just right now be right be, this is today is december 30th 2021 the making of this video which is 7 p.m central standard time they had them um i don't know how long they'll last but I highly recommend them. And I hope that whatever you get, uh, if you do buy one, that you enjoy it as much as I, I enjoy mine. I'm going to make I want to make a hat out of a cashmere one right now. I do. But I don't have my hand grinder here, so I can't. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for watching. I had such a good time uh, opening these. Some of the best, like I said, these are the best mystery boxes I've opened in a long, long time. Some of the best mystery boxes I've ever opened. And believe me. I've opened a lot of yarn mystery boxes in my day. This has to be right up there at the top. <laughs> as far as luxury yarn mystery boxes go, it's got them all beat there. So, um, um, yes, uh, that's it. I'm going to go now. Leave me a comment below. Let me know which one's your favorite. Let me know if you hit up uh, Knit Crate before if you got their mystery boxes and tell me what you think about it or tell me if you got any on the way. I, I'm, I'm curious. Show me pics on Instagram, all right? <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye guys. Stay safe.